One of the things that I've never been a really big fan of in Call of the Wild has always been night hunting. And uh, until recently, I never did any kind of night hunting. But since I've started on my quest to get a diamond scoring lynx, night hunting has actually been quite alright, at least on Medved. I don't think I would ever do it on any of the other reserves, but this is uh, around 8pm, just about the time when the lynx starts to drink. And um, it's not too bad, especially now that we also have the high-tech hunting pack DLC. These binos actually does make a uh, difference hunting like this. I don't use the uh, scope that comes with the pack, but definitely the binos are super good when you're running around looking for links. And in this video, we're going to see if we can find a decent scoring links. The good thing about hunting links at night is that then... Um, well, early night that is, is that they drink. So, same as any other animal, pretty much just run around the entire leg and um, drink zone area. And yeah, there's chances you'll spot something. The lynx is a little more skittish than a lot of the other animals. And it's a class 3 animal as well. Which means I have actually brought out the Sullican to take them down. It is finally time to get it out from the hiatus that we have given it. Now, um, using the Solokin doesn't magically make me hit my uh, shots any better, but uh, that is the very first Lynx level to female. And there's actually quite a few lakes that I try to go to. Um, this one, the big one, is a pretty decent or one. It doesn't have too many, I think, but it's definitely worth checking out. One of the things you have to get used to hunting at night is that um, the tracks are not going to show up unless you use your binos or hit your light. Once you got the lights on, you're going to be able to see all of the tracks that is in the vicinity of the uh, flash light. And it's pretty easy to track stuff down. I have sometimes had issues actually finding the animals because uh, for some reasons they tend to just not glow when you get close enough to them. But, uh, yeah, now that we saw it, it's pretty simple to find it. But else, I would have to be here. So if I'm not paying attention, I actually tend to run over a lot of my animals like this. Bad shooting, but it is the very first one. Let's get back out on the lake. Oh, just another small female. I don't know if it's anything to it, but I have a feeling that I find a lot of small links. It's not like... With lions, where you're pretty much always guaranteed to find a mythical somewhere on your Vahonga map. Um, I might just not have gotten my lynx hunting down good enough yet. If you have any kind of tips for lynx hunting, please leave them in the description down below. Well, in the comments. I'll do the description for you guys. But what my plan is that I always start up at this leg up here. Then I check these two. End up down here. Go up here. Check that out. To end on either the river run or I go on the north ice cab run. And uh, that usually does tend to net me quite a few links. It's going to be quite interesting to see just how many. I'm not going to be shooting everything we see, but uh, I'd expect to at least see 15, 20 links during this run. I have another level 2 female over there. Like, what? Haven't even seen a single male yet. Haven't had a warning call from a male yet, but... Uh, Hopefully we are going to find something that is a little more interesting at some point. As I said, I haven't been a big fan of night hunting in the past, but with this high-tech hunting DLC, it's honestly not too bad. It's not something that I think I would do if I had the choice to do it without actually running around um, for the drink zones, which is early, e well, late evening, early night. And oh, uh, there we go. First, oh wow, I sounded way more excited than I should have, but the uh, first male of this run, but it's very simple, especially here on Medford where you have a lot of the big lakes, just get onto the ice and spot the entire bank. There is a ton of animals, I think we even have reindeer drinking in this, oh, in this uh, time slot as well, so that should be pretty easy to find a few of those too. But let's just take this down. I do expect it should be a uh, gold scoring one. I haven't even seen a rare 
skin links yet and i have honestly been spending quite a lot of time trying to get links so hopefully that is going to be something we're going to get it down the line have you ever had a rare links i've seen the rarest animal that i've ever seen shot in this game was way back in the days where somebody got a thousand scoring piebald links i don't think we have any animal that has ever come close to the rarity of that thing People could argue with the Great Ones and such, but everybody knows that uh, there has been a lot of issues with the Great Ones going around the community. And uh, that one piebald diamond, 1,000 scoring links, in my opinion, has definitely been the most interesting and probably as well the most rare animal that has ever been shot in the Hunter Call of the Wild. I don't remember who shot it, although we did have a guy called Vital Assassin like way back in the days as well who got an albino 1000 scoring red deer that was pretty cool as well but um, to be honest in my opinion the lynx definitely is gonna take the crown because uh, not many people hunt lynx compared to red deer this is our first gold 34.37 kilos on a seven very hard and now we're done with our big Bolshoi lake taiga we're jumping down to my tent down here and this leg right here is actually pretty decent for the lynx. The other one is pretty good as well. The next one we're going to be running up to over there. But this one has... I think there is a might be a slight issue with the pathing or something. So whenever you come down towards this lake. If you spook any lynx on that side over there. They're going to be crossing basically right in front of you. They're going to be running straight to you. There's a lynx out there. That's a three. Not too bad. Actually seeing lynx. But if we just keep running out here, I could try to just take a shot in a moment just to show you what I mean. Because if there there should be definitely some uh, Lynx drinking over there. And if there is, there we go, they tend to actually come this way. Also from up there, they tend to cross out as well. But we might as well shoot the level 3 that we have out there. And then just pay attention to what's going to move around here. There should be stuff moving at least. There we go. It's basically going to be coming running straight to us. What? This is a level one. But yeah. These kind of tricks and... Uh, oh. There we go. I think we got them all. But these kind of spots is the ones that you end up getting if you try to optimize the route you're doing long enough. All of a sudden you end up with some crazy stuff like this happening. And this would have never happened if it wasn't because I was paying attention to this was what is going on whenever I get up here. I didn't even check what that was when I shot it. I just took a shot at it. So that's kind of interesting. But that did give us what five links in the span of uh, just a few moments uh was that blood oh it's right there can be a little tricky to see them at night but look at that right here as long as you make it out to that clearing right there take a shot just to startle the entire area be ready with your solokin or your 243 and then just take down the links whenever you see them and um, you don't spook anything on the far side you can see down here we still have some piggies standing around eating and we might even have a few links somewhere but they can be a little trickier to spot but how do you guys like these kind of uh, videos if you're new to the channel and this is the first time you see i usually do a lot shorter content so um i would love some feedback if uh, this is some stuff you're more into and uh, if you are new there's a subscribe button that you could hit as well if you want more videos like this we're approaching the other lake now and um if we just spot the other side there is like two spots where i pretty much always find links um it doesn't seem to be as good as the one we were just at but it's definitely worth just taking the run over here as always you only need one of them to be a legendary right to uh, potentially get that diamond have one right there i'm actually going to shoot that before we get too close to the lake because we're going to be shooting at other animals whenever we get 
a little further out. It's gonna go down even with two poorly placed shots. Actually, it doesn't even seem to be that much action going on out here today. Just have the reindeer drinking on the other side, unfortunately. Normally, I have a link standing over there in that area where we have that other reindeer drinking, but uh, he is not home tonight. But that's not going to stop us from running over and picking up the one that we just shot. Lynx is also pretty decent money. Now, I know that I messed this one up with the poor shooting, but it's uh, definitely also something worth going for. Especially as they're very easy to take down, even with your 243. So potentially you could be using free bullets to, to actually kill them and uh, make even more money with that. But to, two times flesh on a... Uh, I must have just grazed that. That's actually a thing. I don't know if you paid attention to that. But it does tend to do a little walk around whenever they're in their drinking zone for whatever reason. Which can be a little harder to, to get a good shot in at them. Um, I could advise you to just do a uh, 22 shot to startle them up and make them uh, attentive. And once they're attentive, they usually stop and just look around a little. And now we have fast traveled down to probably my favorite spot on the entire map. And it's my favorite spot because it was down here. The legend of Larry, my diamond piebald reindeer, started. But this spot is actually pretty decent for Lynx as well. Um, once you start out the outpost, just go north towards the drinking zones up here. And uh, most of the time, this is what I was talking about, by the way, with them moving around whenever they are in the drink zone having their own little party. Most of the time you'll find a lynx or two down here. One there, that's a seven. That's actually alert, trying to walk away. He's gonna be turning around in just a moment. Take that down, take that down as well. And quickly come out here to spot if we should have ended up spooking anything else. Uh, you have a a reindeer and a bear chilling out there that's not too important for us tonight but this spot right here it's super good for bears it's super good for moss deer it's super good for a reindeer and uh, at night it's actually pretty decent for the lynx as well as you just saw got two right here the next spot we're gonna go to is actually a little bit of a hidden gem um it is a lake but it is actually not on the map when you're looking at it so uh might want to be paying a little bit of attention to that. But uh, I'm going to show you exactly where to go right here. Now, this one is actually a little bit of a hidden gem. You can see that I have a drink zone out here, 19 to 23. There is a uh, hunting stand out here as well. But this area out here, as it is not marked as a lake on the map, I don't think a lot of people know about it. But it is actually another frozen lake. And... Uh, it tends to be pretty darn good for both lynx and reindeer as well. So once you've started at this lodge right here, you just go straight west towards this little piece of uh, forest that you will you will enter between the two areas. And as soon as you get out here, it should be pretty simple to just spot whatever is around. You see, we have the reindeer running off. We have musty drinking. We have a lynx out there be kind of surprised to not see more links out here at least one more this one over there level one unfortunately we're not seeing anything any kinds of big but uh i mean might be lucky at some point this is more also just to kind of show you what i am doing when i'm running around trying to find my diamond links and i do believe that i'm starting to actually get a pretty good idea of what i'm doing so I really don't mind showing you my best tips and tricks for that. That's just a level two. We shot it with the... Uh... Ooh. Is that a lynx? Is that a lynx? Is that a lynx? It is indeed. Just shooting them with the 300 to get them down. But that's another thing. Once you actually take a shot at something... Just pay attention to see what is going to be uh, running around in the enti entire area as well. It is often that you'll spot the butt of something trying to run off somewhere. Um, here at night it is a little harder obviously because you don't have as much vision. But we spotted him. The moon does seem to be helping us a little tonight. And um, we did get ourselves two of the three links that we spotted here at this lake as well. 
Obviously, shooting them with the 300, they're not gonna go very far at all. But we just need them dead. And after the visit down there, we've now fast traveled up to my tent that is at another super good spot for pretty much everything you'll find on this map. Just go there at the right drink time and uh, you should be looking at a lot of different animals. Ooh, another level 7. Actually gonna quickly reload this thing because we have another lynx yelling on the other side of us. Let's see if we can take this one down. It is alert. Is he gonna be turning around? There we go. Oh, he started doing that thing again. That's really gonna result in a lot of flesh wounds, unfortunately. But as long as we don't need the trophy, it doesn't really matter too much. It's a weird thing they're doing. They just seem to be walking around in place looking for something. I have no idea what. Did that one actually die as well? Yeah, it's going down right there. Nice. But this one down here, same thing. Just get out onto the middle of the ice pretty much and spot the entire bank around it. And uh, that way you should definitely be able to find quite a few decent animals. Let's just see here. Did he go? Ran over here. And uh, there he is. Messed that up. Hit the scapula on the first shot, unfortunately. And the second one was a little bust. But a must here out on the center of the ice. Another level 2 Lynx over there. Doing her little dance. That one seems to actually be pretty steady. But yeah. There is links pretty much all over the uh, entire side of this lake as well. We did shoot the one that died over there. Need to go and pick that up at some point. And another level 2. And another level 7. So what have we seen so far? 2s, 1s, 5s and 7s. Nothing huge unfortunately. And a tiny mustard just running off. But yeah. Gotta start somewhere. This lake pretty good and now with when we've gone and uh, picked up the last one over here i either decide to travel to my tent here on the uh, river and run north or if i just want a quick one then i uh, transfer up to this tent up here and go west and just spot the entire north side of the map just here basically at the shore um tends to be quite a few there they can be a little few and far between but at least there is some out there and they're super easy to spot. Let's just pick up this guy right here. I think it was actually a girl, but does it matter? There we go. Left femoris and a flesh wound, unfortunately. We decided to go for the north run right here. And as soon as you get out here, you can find a few of them in the uh, bushes around the entire ice. But what I tend to do is basically just run around on the ice itself spot them from afar take them down run up to them and see if we can find even more and as i said the solokin is a lynx killer lynx being a uh, animal class three and with the solokin now being i think it's three till seven yeah for the recommended classes it is the ultimate lynx gun it is super powerful um, if you don't have it, it is a part of the weapon pack too. Would I recommend you to buy weapon pack too? Probably not. There is a lot of other more valuable guns in the other weapon packs in terms of what animals you can use them for and such. Because of the nerf to the Solokin, which brought it from a uh, class 2 to 6 to a 3 to 7 instead, so you, all of a sudden you couldn't hunt um the smaller animals with it anymore it definitely has taken a backseat in most of the uh, loadout videos you're going to be seeing well basically everybody's loadout it's still a super powerful gun but there's just better alternatives for everything but the class 3 animal pretty much so if you are like right now i'm here just hunting specifically for lynx then the solokin is a beast but if I was out hunting for anything else, I would just be using my uh, 243 to take out the lynx. And yeah, I actually managed to spook one as well. Should be a fairly easy pick off right here. There we go. A another level 6. That's a potential gold one as well. But yeah, 
that is pretty much what I do when I go out and hunt links. So either I run up here and run this way, or I start down here and run this way. Once you've basically covered one or the other of the two of those, if you run what I do here, you have used the entire Lynx drink zone time to get around. And I have spotted a few small females within the edge of the water right there, but I didn't feel like that was necessary for uh, making it into the video. But that is exactly what I do when I hunt links. Thank you so very much for watching. If you have any kind of questions or tips, please leave them in the comments down below or join us on Discord and join the discussion. Thank you so very much for watching.